Muhammad from Pakistan. Sheikh, my question is that uh, I'm not finding anything genius in the scholar, but they have not uh, fear before lying on the Prophet. And they continuously lie on the Prophet because then we check their fatwas on sunnah.com and kalamullah.com and different sources. We not find uh, their fatwas uh, match with the 100% uh, according to sunnah. So, is it, is it again, is it again, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh? Uh, no, I have different, uh, um, many more different, many more different things. Okay, make it quick, Muhammad. Yes, Muhammad. I think we've lost Muhammad. Anyhow, uh, what Muhammad introduced his question by is very derogatory and insulting. To come and claim that the scholars have lied upon the Prophet wasalam, you could have summarized this by saying they have committed kufr. How could they be scholars and they lie upon the Prophet ﷺ? This is unacceptable. If the cream of the society, the scholars who are supposed to be the best of the best and the elite, they lie upon the Prophet ﷺ, what good is our religion? What remains in Islam? And it is not logical for someone to come and call me and say that the scholars have lied upon the Prophet ﷺ. Might as well say that I am also lying upon the Prophet ﷺ and coming on live TV to ask me doesn't make any sense. Why would you ask a liar? So all in all, if you don't know Arabic, if you don't memorize the Quran, if you haven't read the books of Sunnah yourself, you're relying on an online platform, sunnah.com, which means that you have not held Sahih al-Bukhari and sat on the ground in a masjid reading it to a sheikh or you being a sheikh explaining it to the public. Yet you have the audacity to come and claim that the scholars lie upon the Prophet ﷺ. There is something fishy, akhi, and I don't know what's uh, wrong, but you can figure it out, inshallah.